the fact that the World Health Organization investigation into this was heavily biased in favor of China is absolutely ridiculous. And if I recall correctly, that bias wasn't initially reported, right? It wasn't until the Biden administration found out that there was a pro-China bias within the World Health Organization's investigation into it that he ordered his own investigation. The World Health Organization should be ashamed of themselves. I'm not happy with the World Health Organization. They're a puppet of China. They're China-centric, to put it nicer. They're literally a pipe organ for China. That's the way I view it. WHO, that's the World Health Organization, receives vast amounts of money from the United States. And they were wrong. They've been wrong about a lot of things. They seem to be very China-centric. And uh, we have to look into that. So we're going to look into it. We pay for We give a majority of the money that they get. That bias wasn't initially reported. Right? It wasn't until the Biden administration found out that there was a pro-China bias within the World Health Organization's investigation into it that he ordered his own investigation. Donald Trump has again threatened to permanently cut U.S. funding to the World Health Organization, the only international agency that is working to help countries battle this coronavirus pandemic. And they, they seem to err always on the side of China, and we fund it. Yeah, so I want to look into it. Yes, please. The main organization that put out a report saying it was definitely from a natural occurrence was the World Health Organization. Normally fairly reputable and trustworthy, except for the fact that in this particular case, China demanded that half the people on the panel be from China. Mm -hmm. And so it was a very, very questionable finding, but it was reported as if it was legitimate. That's right. right. Today, President Trump announced the U.S. is pulling out of the World Health Organization. He blamed the WHO for its handling of the pandemic and accused it of being controlled by China. Congress receiving notification President Trump is officially withdrawing the United States from the World Health Organization. But since the pandemic started, the president has heavily criticized the organization, accusing them of not being forthcoming about the spread of the coronavirus and for being too aligned with China. We are by far the largest contributor to WHO, World Health, and uh, they misled us. I don't know. They must have known more than they knew. So the guy's a total con man. Everybody knows it. Bear me your crocodile tears. You just despise working with anyone outside of the United States because you're a xenophobe and your followers are, are are even worse than you. And you appeal to them by saying things that are, uh, you know, demagoguing and racist, including against China. But it was reported as if it was legitimate. That's right. In the beginning, uh, people swore up and down that it was natural and not from a lab. We'll get back to that in a second. Actually, can we address that right now? Yeah. Because one thing that's become increasingly clear to me, especially over the last year, is that I don't know who to trust. Yeah. Right? I certainly don't trust reporters mm -hmm. because reporters treated this in initially as if it was nothing more than a crazy, unhinged conspiracy theory. Yeah. So who do you trust, right? You can't trust the legacy media outlets because that was their narrative. Right-wing media, you know, tends to go in the direction of it was definitely a lab leak, but they have their own biases. So what do you trust? Donald Trump is known for his ridiculous and debunked conspiracies, one of them being this conspiracy that the coronavirus was developed by these mad scientists in a Chinese lab. Ignore them. They do not speak in good faith. They're liars. This conspiracy theory, like this attempt to make uh, Chinese, si Chinese scientists the bad guys in, in this whole case, like they, they developed some crazy virus and they released it into the world. That's not what happened. The CNN is also reporting that a number of top officials in the Trump administration have pushed U.S. intelligence agencies looking into the origin of the novel coronavirus to hunt for evidence linking the virus to a Chinese laboratory. That's not what 
the intelligence community is supposed to do. They're not supposed to have a theory and then look for evidence to back their theory. 95% uh? of what Trump does is look for a scapegoat to cover up for his failures. And Fox News certainly helps him with that propaganda. What gives you a high degree of confidence that this originated from the Wuhan Institute of Virology? I can't tell you that. I'm not allowed to tell you that. So, I don't look. know, I don't remember what you said, but uh -huh. I'm gonna take ownership of what I said, okay? Because I said, that there was no evidence of it, right? If I remember it correctly, right? I wasn't completely dismissive of it, but we didn't have evidence. And I'm not gonna repeat, uh, you know, theories that we don't have hardcore evidence to back up. Yeah. So I, I don't know what to believe. And when you say trust us, we don't know. We don't Look, if Trump really did have some sort of evidence indicating that this virus were created in a Chinese lab, right? It was some genetically modified uh, virus created by humans. Uh, you think that he wouldn't share that classified information with the public? Yeah. He is the ultimate decision maker when it comes to declassifying anything. I wasn't completely dismissive of it, but we didn't have evidence. And I'm not going to repeat, uh, you know, theories that we don't have hardcore evidence to back up. Yeah. It does appear that there is some indication that a lab leak um, in Wuhan, China is the origin of the coronavirus. It's like they, they developed some crazy virus and they released it into the world. That's not what happened. That That's exactly what the intelligence community said. Leak, and now it turns out that there is um, some possibility that it was a lab leak. I said that there was no evidence of it, right? If I remember it correctly, right? I wasn't completely dismissive of it. Donald Trump is known for his ridiculous and debunked conspiracies. Of course, people also uh, felt that it was nothing more than a conspiracy theory based on who it was coming from. Someone like Donald Trump, who most people, I think, do feel a little skeptical about. He continued to push a conspiracy theory that has already been debunked by our intelligence community. This whole notion that the coronavirus was developed in a Chinese lab, that has been debunked. This theory um, is plausible and it's already been debunked. This theory um, is plausible. This whole notion that the coronavirus was developed in a Chinese lab, that has been debunked. I think that there are some pretty serious consequences for our institutions, which are already dealing with um, Honestly, a lack of trust among voters and Americans in general. That has already been debunked. We said, my recollection, and you guys, everybody can look it up and they often do, right? Was that, hey, I'm like, all the doctors and scientists are saying that it's natural. Okay, I guess it's natural. The part, the people saying it's man-made, that's been pretty much completely debunked. The scientists say, no, when you look at its genetic makeup and when you look at uh, you know, the science behind it, it has not been altered, so it is not man-made, it is natural. Who uh, signed on to the idea that it was definitely not man-made? Because now we find out, no. There's a possibility. When the scientists say they looked, looked at the genetic code and the chemistry of it, and it is not man-made, that's the best evidence we have to go on. So when Lance had put out a letter from a collection of doctors saying it is pretty much definitely not man-made, I believe that. So it is not man-made, it is natural. It came out of the city that has a Wuhan Institute of Virology, a Chinese lab that worked on coronaviruses. Man, that is an awfully large coincidence. And, uh, and that's what I've thought throughout, that that was an awfully large coincidence. Now, that is an unbelievable coincidence, coincidence that the virology lab is right next to the outbreak. What were the chances? A virus naturally broke out right next to a virus lab. It could happen, but probably the odds are against it. We found out that there was a, a virus lab in Wuhan. Uh, first thing I thought is, well, that's an awfully strange coincidence. A virus naturally broke out right next to a virus lab. It could happen, but probably the odds are against it. First thing I thought is, well, that's an awfully strange coincidence. But probably the odds are against it. You know, the science behind it, it has not been altered. So it is not man made, it is natural. But now they've opened up the possibility of, oops, it might be man made. But when the scientists say they looked, looked at the genetic code and the chemistry of it, and it is not man made, that's the best evidence we have to go on. Oops, it might be man made. 
Right, and and that's a very large oops. So it is not man-made. It is natural. It might be man-made. Natural. It appears to clearly be a conspiracy theory, and it's disturbing, but not unusual that the Trump administration would push it. When they talk about natural origin. Uh, what they're referring to is uh, humans getting it from animals, like eating bats, for instance. That was one of the things that was uh, pretty prominent in the beginning of the pandemic. That has already been debunked. It's not just like the right wingers who don't trust our institutions. People in general in America right now don't trust our institutions. So what this is really about is an attempt to deflect and to place the blame on, you know, whoever. And in this case, they're going to go ahead and blame the Chinese, right? So again, don't let them do that. When someone like Donald Trump utters that it was a lab leak, people like me, to be quite honest with you, dismiss it because he said all sorts of insane things, including injecting disinfectant in order to, uh, to fight the the virus if you get uh, if you get con if you contract it. He didn't say that, okay? Donald Trump did not say inject chlorine branded bleach into your lungs. The president is asking people to inject Lysol into their lungs. But President Trump says things like, you know, everything from this crazy stuff he's walking away from now, inject bleach in your arm and that's gonna work. I'm not being a bit, I'm not being facetious though. I mean, he's actually said these things. The fact is, they are shameless liars. They're just pretending like they heard it that way so that they can pretend to be attacking the president based on something that didn't happen. The left must grow an ounce of honesty and stop spreading false editorializations of events which are objectively bad in isolation. If you want to criticize Trump, go right ahead. I do so on a regular basis, but there's no need to lie about what he said. And every time you do, it shows that you care less about the truth and more about power. President Trump says that he has seen evidence that the coronavirus originated at a lab in Wuhan, China, but he cannot make that evidence public. And on Trump, last uh, thing, he didn't get it right. He didn't go talk to that scientist. He didn't go talk to the other scientists. He didn't talk to any scientist, right? He's just like, I don't know, I don't like it. I think it might have come from China. <laughs> a broken clock is tw uh, right twice a day, right? And so if he showed that he had actually consulted the scientist, then I would say, oh, well, okay, no problem. I, even though I don't like Trump, I've given him credit on other things, right? And I give him, he didn't consult any scientists. You think scientists told him to inject bleach into your lungs? Okay, no. He didn't say that. And so, and he wasn't right on 90% of what he said. Uh, about coronavirus. Exactly, which Come is on, why it was so it easy to dismiss uh, the lab leak story. I am your voice. He's just like, I don't know, I don't like it. I think it might have come from China.